Thank you for joining me for the free tune lesson for Surveyor's Reel. This is a great Canadian heritage tune. It was written by Andy DeJarlis and it's in the key of F major. So if you want to warm up first, go ahead and run a one octave F major scale. You're going to be watching out for your B flat finger position on the A string and F natural finger position on the E string. So low one on A and E, low second finger from G to the E string. So that should help you out. And third finger, thank goodness, is in its regular position. Here we go. You're walking in from the A open, A, C natural, E, and E to the F natural slur. Do that one more time, down on the A. Slur to the E, F natural. And then up bow slur G F E. Do that one more time. We're going to go into the next chunk, which starts the same way, but it will have a separate ending. So A C E F natural again. Now we're going to go F, D, 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 D. So the intro so far, or the beginning. So the first section ends on the C, the second action section ends on the D. Now we're going to put the ending on. One, two, three, two, one, three, two, or F, G, A, G, F, A, G. E, G, F, E, F, D, C. And here's the very last part for the A ending. exactly the same way twice. So up to speed you have just played. Your B section now, this is where you get the rhythm for the tune. walking on an up bow slur C to the B flat and then down bow A and I'm going to have you block your second finger on the F, on the D string and on the A string on the F note and on the C note two on A two on D three on A two on D A sorry two on A two we'll do that again A, B flat, 
that C, A, G. So you have played. Now we're going to start the same way again, but our ending will be different. Three, two, or G, F, E, G, F. I'm going to go back to the cross stringing. D, C, A open. Go back and repeat the first chunk. Now add the second ending. chunk again. A open. Here's the ending for the whole B section. C, B flat, A, C. F, A. G. time with the ending. So I'm going to play the whole B for you now to see what you've done. So this is an up bow C to B flat slur. And then you're going to be what I call egg beating between the A and the D string. So keep that wrist really loose and you want to stay towards the middle bow towards the upper tip. to three to four inches towards the upper middle bow when you go to play up to speed you're able to use more wrist action which will help you play it a little bit faster <laughs> Love to hear from you. If you have any requests, please send me a note at modelfiddler at gmail.com.